Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 6 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. And by Recon Boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to another musky quick tip segment here on the Musky Mastery YouTube channel. Tonight, I want to talk to you guys about walk the dog style topwater lures. Uh, here I've got the Walkin' Raider by JBO. There's a lot of great walk the dog style topwater lures on the market, and uh, they're just absolutely fantastic lures. A lot of folks wonder when do you use them, why do you use them, what do you throw them on? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So, first, We'll, we will start off with just the equipment. For walk the dog style top waters uh, and glide baits in general, lures that uh, whether it's uh, on the surface or subsurface, I like a shorter rod. This is a seven foot six extra heavy power fast action. This is St. Croix Legend Elite extra heavy fast. Um, stiff or a, a, a um, heavy line. You want, uh, you know, something in that range, you know, if you go on the lighter side, 65 pound test, this is a 80 pound test, JBO's Beast, Ray, Beast Braid, um, 100 pound test is great, whatever you want. Um, next, we've got the uh, the leader getting close to the business end here. Uh, you definitely, I think, will do best with a steel leader. You can mix up the sizes depending on the size of the lure. As a general rule of thumb, as I take the walking reader here, you will see that the lure is closer to the size. This is an 11 inch leader. I think this is a, uh, an eight inch lure. Um, you want a, a lure that is approximately the size of your leader or leader approximately the size of your lure, however you want to put it. Um, but again, that's something that you can mix and match with um, as you go. And that's the same thing with regard to hooks. Um, you know, these, these are the hooks that come right out of the box, but uh, you can use heavier hooks, lighter hooks, uh, heavier hooks if you want this lure to run a little deeper. You know, the list goes on. You can definitely modify these. You can put some uh, lead tape on them if you want. The walking Raider really doesn't need that. And in fact, um, this is a really cool lure. Um, I'll just briefly touch on this because the walking Raider is something that I prototyped uh, many years ago. Uh, filming with Joe, you know, we had, we had, uh, designed the uh, the Glide Raider together, and we said, well, the, the lure is so fantastic. I mean, I caught my biggest muskie on the Glide Raider. We said, well, why don't we make a, a, a topwater lure out of it? So we, we worked with the different uh, weighting um, systems and uh, the different uh, types of cavities and where you could put those weights, and we found the perfect setup, and that's where we had the walking Raider. So, next thing. Why would you throw a Walk the Dog style topwater? Anytime, well, of course, you know, you can, you might see, um, and you know, you can hear it maybe in the background here. It's, it's uh, late July. There's a lot of surface activity. Um, there's bluegills up on the surface where we're fishing here. There's um, all sorts of, you know, bass, walleyes, all sorts of critters feeding on the surface. And that makes a surface lure a good idea because muskies are definitely keen in on other fish that are feeding at the surface, whether there's bluegills feeding on bugs and then walleyes or bass eating the bluegills and the muskies are there. So that's a great place to throw a topwater lure because you've got surface activity. The, the other uh, time that I would throw a walk the dog in particular is when you are, you know, on muskies, but you're struggling to get a reaction out of them. A lot of times a walk the dog real erratic style lure is a great way to get a rise out of fish. So now to the fun stuff how to throw the walk the dog. And I'm gonna just kind of try to talk this through um, first. This is really important. Um, and I think this, you know, if all the glide baits and top waters that I've thrown with, with uh, the zigzag motion, this is pretty much um, true for all of them. And what I'm, what, so what I'm getting at is when you, whether the rod goes down or the rod goes toward the side, the real handle the way I like to think about it, the real handle should make one complete revolution per per zigzag of the lure. So for example, when when the walking raider zigs to the left, your real handle should make one complete revolution. And when it zigs back to the right, it should make another complete revolution. The problem, and the reason I'm bringing this up is the, the, one of the biggest problems I have with guide customers is they do this. So this is wrong. Do not do this. Okay, I'm gonna take a shorter cast. And I'm going to show you what it looks like to make too many revolutions here. So, and so you see they're doing like this, and that, you know you're, you know you can start to see it work, but it's but see how I'm, there's too many revolutions with the real handle. Now that was kind of exaggerated, 
But to a certain extent, that's one of the major problems people have when they're working walk the dogs. Here's, here's the right way to do it. And Michael, zoom in on my hands and then we'll take a look at the lure. You want one revolution per glide. So take a look at this. Take a nice long bomb cast. And again, here we're doing one, two, one, two, back, forth, back, forth. See, now I'm gonna slow it down. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And you can almost work many of these walk the dog style top waters, like the walking raider here, just with the real handle itself. Now, if you want to get fancy and you really want to, you really want the lure to glide, you can, you can, uh, you know, start using the rod along with the real handle. So again, I'm going to show you that once more now. Again, the tactic here with this is to bomb it out there. And a lot of times, again, I'll, I'll just say this: in the earlier stage of the retrieve, when it's furthest out, I will generally speaking work the rod tip in a downward motion along with working my hands um, and the real handle one revolution per glide. You can see that that walker is just working in real nice like that. Now, and sometimes I'll speed it up and I'll slow it down. And as it nears the boat, I'll get a little wristier with it and I'll, I'll get a little more parallel with my rod movement as the walker gets closer to the boat. You don't necessarily always need to do that. That's a personal preference. I think I can get walk the dogs to work a little better when I you know, keep my rod a little bit more level with the surface as it gets closer. But that's pretty much it. You know, it's, it's a great uh, search lure. Again, I'll kind of show you how to speed it up here on this one. So bomb it out there and you can see how I'm going slow and then, and then I'll speed it up a little bit. And then you can slow it down even even pause it for a second, just like you would a glider, and then you can speed it up. Now, a couple other things here. If you get a muskie following your walk the dog style topwater lure, big time rule of thumb here, don't stop that lure. Just keep it coming, keep it coming. And what do you do when you get into the figure eight? What I do with these um, walk the dog style topwaters is I actually do a traditional figure eight with this. Now, what's kind of interesting, and we've talked about this when it comes to gliders, with the Glide Raider, I actually do kind of a dead stick, where I actually leave the glider out here and I kind of flip it around. Interestingly, when it comes to walk the dog style topwaters, I have caught many fish in the figure eight on these, just figure eighting them very traditionally. Um, it's kind of odd, you wouldn't think muskies would, would come in and attack a walk the dog in the figure eight. It kind of looks like you're just, just pulling a sausage around in the water. It's not really doing anything, but I've caught muskies doing that. Um, and while we're on, the musky thing, the one other thing that we've talked about is when do you set the hook on a walk the dog style? Don't, the best way to do this, and I just put a top water video out a couple weeks ago that detailed this. Don't set the hook. A lot of folks will say, oh, wait till you feel the weight. Well, how much, what's the weight of the lure? You know, you, you don't really know. Don't set the hook on this top water until your hand, until your reel handle is stopped. When the muskie grabs the top, you know, when the muskie grabs the top raider or the walking raider or whatever top water you're fishing, when your reel handle stops, that is when you set the hook. And again, I'm just gonna come on in here and go right into my figure eight. And that's it, We're ready for the next cast. It's a great lure to throw. And I should also say this, there's so many things to throw in on this. Glass calm choppy it just doesn't matter you can throw this as long as it works side to side you can pretty much throw it in anything rain sun sleet you name it it's a great lure um, and it definitely will get a rise out of muskies when they're not moving so try these tips the biggest thing being the uh one revolution per glide back and forth that's going to help you work these lures better if you're struggling so hopefully that helps i hope you enjoyed this quick tips video there'll be more coming this season so as always thanks for watching